So in question number five of this first exercise, we have been given a puzzle in which we have a multiplication product and we see there are three letters A, B and C. So basically we'll have to find the values of these letters and we'll also have to give reasons for the steps involved. Now in this product, if we observe one thing, we see that when we multiply this three and this A, we get C A. So irrespective of the fact that we get a carry from here, we can definitely conclude one thing here that the value of A can not be zero. So definitely based on this reasoning, we can write here the value of A would not be equal to zero. Also the value of C would not be equal to zero because the result of this multiplication product is a three digit number. Also, we'll have to keep in mind the fact that each of these letters would represent one single digit. Now, let us observe the product in the ones column. So here in the ones column, we have that when B is multiplied by three, the result is a B. Now, let us see what are the different conditions for which this particular result is possible. So the first one is if B equals zero. Now if b equals 0 and we rewrite the given product, so we'll have a, let me write b with the value of b that's 0 with the blue ink. So this times 3 gives us c a and again 0. Now if we again take this product forward, we'll see that we have 3 times a equals c a. So basically when 3 and a they are multiplied, we get a number where a is the unit's place. Now which is only possible for two values of a either if a is equal to 0 or if a is equal to 5. But since we have already seen in the initial part that a cannot be equal to 0, so a will definitely be equal to 5 then. Now let us replace this value of a in the product. So we'll have 5 and then the value of b which is 0. Now when this is multiplied by 3, the result would be equal to first 0 and then 5. And obviously 3 times 5 is 15 so 1 would be the value of C. Now these are the values which we have got if we take B as 0. That's the first condition. Now let us see what is the second condition for which B times 3 gives us B. That would definitely be the condition when B equals 5. Now if B equals 5 and we rewrite this product by again replacing the value of b by this blue colored digit and if this is multiplied with 3 the result should be c a and definitely 5. Now here we already know that 5 times 3 is 15 so the 5 is already written here and 1 would be a carry here. Now if we take this product forward we'll see that 3 times a plus 1 gives us c a. But we've already seen in the previous condition that 3 times a equals c a and not 3 times a plus 1. Hence our assumption of b to be 5 stands out to be incorrect and then we'll have to go with the assumption that b equals 0. Now if we again take this product properly, so we'll see here that this is the final result where we have got the value of a to be 5, the value of b to be 0 and the value of c as 1. Now these are the three values of these three letters which we have got in the question 
And this is how we are going to answer the fifth question of this first exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.